When you hear someone say Istanbul, your mind will wander off to exquisite, high-rising, minaret mosques, graceful cruise dinners, rich historic background, crowded bazaars, amazing museums, and kebabs. Istanbul was previously known as Constantinople. It has been under the rule of Romans, Latins, Byzantines, Ottomans, and finally now under the government of the Turkish Republic. Istanbul is a much wider incarnation of the original Constantinople. It stands for between East and West. That is, it lies in both Asia and Europe, divided by the Bosphorus Strip. The dreamy city entraps the visitors with its charming and dramatic view. Wandering through the city is like exploring the magical city you once dreamt of. Following are the top 10 tourist attractions in Istanbul. Number 10, Galata Tower. The tower is located in the Galata district of the metropolis Istanbul and offers a dramatic view of the historic city and its surrounding. The Genoese Tower was built in 1348 and is currently one of the most recognizable landmarks of Istanbul. You can spot the tower in Turkish films and movies set in those times. Galata Tower is also known as the Tower of Christ. It was the tallest building in Istanbul when it was built and still stands tall today. It has been used for many purposes in the past. The most notable uses are fire tower, barracks, and dungeon. In modern times, it serves as an observation deck of Golden Horn, the Bosphorus, and the historical peninsula. There are cafes, restaurants, and nightclubs in upper levels of the tower reached by elevator. Make sure you come early to access the tower since it is a pretty crowded tourist place. Number nine, Bosphorus Cruise. Istanbul trip isn't completed without a ride on the famous Bosphorus Cruise. Bosphorus River is the one that divides Istanbul into two continents. Hence, the cruise trip offers a chance to witness the majestic on both the Asian and European shores. There are different trips you can select, with which include a short one, a long one, and the sunset tour in summertime. Short trip starts from the shore, travels up to the Bosphorus Bridge, and returns back. Long trip includes traveling all the way to the Black Sea, enjoying a time on the cruise on land, and then returning back to Istanbul by evening. The last one, the sunset tour, only involves enjoying a dramatic sunset as the sun hides behind the historic peninsula while enjoying the cruise food. The cruise not only offers majestic views, but a delicious menu as well for travelers to enjoy the local cuisine as they see Istanbul glide by in the background. Number eight, Suleimani Mosque. At the third hill of Istanbul, above the Sultanate district, lies the peaceful and reminiscence of Ottoman architecture, Suleimani Mosque. The mosque was built for Sultan Soliman, the Magnificent, by the famed Ottoman architect Sinan in the mid-16th century. It is one of the significant landmarks of Istanbul. The notable features of the mosque are its 53-meter high dome and the four minarets glorifying the Istanbul skies. The mosque has undergone several renovations throughout history. One such popular incident is the fire that broke out during World War I in the gardens as it was used as the weapons depot. The mosque was restored in the mid-20th century. The interior of the mosque is an amazing blend of Islamic and Byzantine designs, which exalt the environment. Outside the mosque in the garden is an Ottoman cemetery, where tombs of Sultan Suleiman and his favorite wife, Hurram Sultan, are present. The mosque is actively visited by Muslims to perform their daily prayers. Number seven, Basilica Cistern. Did you ever imagine you'll get to see an ancient water supply system today? Well, Basilica Cistern exists today. The most surprising tourist attraction of Istanbul, Basilica Cistern was built during Roman Byzantine era. It was started by Constantine the Great and finished by Emperor Justinian. Basilica Cistern is a huge underground hall that is supported by 300 plus columns in 12 rows. It is also known as the Sunken Palace and holds 2.8 million cubic feet of water. It is the site that leaves visitors in awe as they witness the engineering of the 6th century, which was way advanced compared to those times. The site is picturesque and a great place to film outstanding night shots. Most of the columns have carvings on them. The famous of the column basis is the Medusa stones that has Medusa head carvings. Number six, Hippodrome of Constantinople. The ancient Hippodrome of Constantinople was a center of entertainment in historic times. It was built by Septimus Severus in 203 AD and renovated by Constantine the Great in 324 AD. In the Byzantine era, the Hippodrome was the sporting and social center of Constantinople. People used to enjoy games, chariot races, circuses, and some conflicts as well. Currently, the Hippodrome, which is also known as Sultan Ahmet Square, inhibits at Maidani on the original site and has several monuments in the exhibition. These monuments include a German fountain and three ancient monuments, Egyptian obelisk, 
Serpent Column, and Stone Obelisk. Number 5. The Grand Bazaar A tour of any city isn't completed without a visit to the shopping centers to buy stuff for loved ones. Istanbul's Grand Bazaar does not only offer options for shopping, but options to witness the vibes of a historic bazaar as well. It is the largest indoor marketplace in the world, with around 5,000 shops situated inside it. The bustling bazaar features intricate jewelry, precious Turkish carpets, unique antiques, spices, and beautiful hand-painted ceramics. Construction of the then Savahir Beristan began in 1456, right after the conquest of Istanbul, with the aim that it'll provide economic prosperity in the new capital of the Ottoman Empire. Since then, it grew into what today is known as Grand Bazaar. It currently has 60 streets, two mosques, two hammams, steam baths, four fountains, and some cafes and restaurants. The bazaar's oldest and original section of Savahir Beristan has the rarest and most valuable items like old coins, precious jewelry, weapons, and furniture. Number four, Istanbul Archaeology Museums. Travelers looking for an escape from the city find themselves in the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. It is located at a short distance from the Topkapi Palace. The museum is divided into three sub-museums, namely the Museum of Ancient Orient, the Archaeological Museum, and the Tiled Pavilion of Mehmet the Conqueror. The museum was built in 1891, with the Tiled Pavilion dating back to 1472. It was the first Turkish museum at the time of its construction and was situated in the courtyard of Topkapi Palace. The museums contain more than a million rich objects, sculptures, and artifacts from civilizations around the world. They also inhibit beautiful art displays and a collection of ceramic art. A major attraction of the museum is the Sarcophagus of Alexander the Great that depicts major events of his life. Number 3. Topkapi Palace The city of Ottomans can't be completed without a visit to their throne seat. Topkapi Palace served as the residence of sultans and the center of the Ottoman Empire, from which the empire's dominion was administered until the 19th century. It was first built by Sultan Mehmet, the conqueror in the 15th century after the conquest of Constantinople. Situated beside the Bosphorus, the large extravagant palace turned into a museum in 1924. Not only does it exhibit a wide collection of Ottoman art, manuscripts, artifacts, jewelry, porcelain, and other Ottoman stuff, but also features the palace's courtyards and other buildings. Popular highlights are the first courtyard of elite soldiers, second court of palace kitchens, and imperial council chamber, third court where the sultan's private rooms were, and harem where the sultan's wives, concubines, and children spent time. Plan Topkapi Palace effectively, since you'll spend half a day exploring it. Number 2. Blue Mosque A gift by Sultan Ahmet I to the beloved capital of the Ottoman Empire, Blue Mosque stands in its place, displaying its elegance and attracting tourists from around the world. It was built between 1609 and 1616, with six towering minarets, which are the attractive feature of the mosque. It is built upon the site of Byzantine Emperor's Palace, in front of Hagia Sophia and Sultan Ahmet Square. The mosque is a treasure from inside. As the name suggests, the mosque interior is covered with 20,000 handmade Iznik style ceramic tiles and more than 50 different tulip designs, making it one of the finest Ottoman architectures to date. Even the domes of the mosque are covered with blue tiles. Besides, there are 200 stained glass windows, each one with intricate designs and Koran calligraphy all over the interior. To get a wholesome experience, visit the mosque at sunset when the call to prayers echoes from the Blue Mosque and fills the air. Number 1. Hagia Sophia This historic building held significance in all the eras since it was built. It held a unique position in Christianity and was an architectural and cultural icon for the Romans and the Byzantines. It is currently an important symbol for both Muslims and Christians. Hagia Sophia was built by Byzantine Emperor Justinian from 532 to 537. It is remarked as a masterwork of Roman architecture, as its massive dome covered the largest enclosed space in the world for 1,000 years. Hagia Sophia has served many purposes throughout history. It was an Eastern Orthodox cathedral initially, then became a Latin Catholic cathedral under Latin Empire for 60 years. It was reinstated as Eastern Orthodox Cathedral until the 1453's conquest of Constantinople. Under the Ottoman Empire, the historic building served as a mosque. In 1935, it was turned into a museum by the secular Republic of Turkey until it was reinstated as a mosque in 2020. So many changes to the historic building, right? But the changes didn't affect the glamour of Hagia Sophia. It still retains the elements of Christianity and Islam. When visitors enter through the Imperial Gate, they get stunned as they witness the exalting interior. 
covered with beautiful mosaics that cover the dome and the walls. Visitors can spot Islamic calligraphy, Viking scripture, Desus mosaic, a wishing column, five tombs belonging to Ottoman sultans, and the tomb of Queen Sophia. Glee the cat could have been spotted there, but she died in November of 2020. She was a popular and permanent resident of the Hagia Sophia. Now you can see other cats reaming instead of her.